Hey guys, Mike here. Well, I'm going to be happy to show you a future project that I will be doing with a compressor evaporator that came out of a wine cooler system. And the next video I'm going to throw in is that system in place in the apartment before we took it out. A uh, licensed HVAC guy came, pumped down the system, cut it out. I have it right here behind me. And uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the video of the unit still in the apartment so you can see how it was. And then the next video I just did, which is showing you the system a little bit about it. So without further ado, guys, here you go. Hey guys, so here's something cool. This is a little compressor underneath a kitchen sink for a wine cooler. And I thought I'd just show you. It's water cooled. It taps off the domestic cold water. So you have a water restrictor and then there's a solenoid that um, clicks in when a power is applied to cool the compressor. I came up here to turn it on because we just had a water shutdown. We are cleaning the water tank today, so I just want to make sure all these valves back here were on. This, I'm just trying to trace the lines here. This one here is the feed that goes in the solenoid and into the heat exchanger, the coil heat exchanger. And this is the outline, which then goes up and to there. So, and this one here is a filter of some sort. Oh, this, this might be a bypass a filter. Well, this was closed, so I'll leave that closed. And now, oh, I'll put it on. No, actually, it is a bypass. It has nothing to do with that. All right, so now I have the plug here, and I'm just gonna plug it in. Alright, now I have to go up to the freezer and turn it on. Well guys, here it is. This is going to be my new project that I will do, I will accomplish. And um, this came out of an apartment and they had a wine, this was for a wine cooler. It was a closet that was uh, about like this closet, a little deeper and um, it was cedar inside and they had this evaporator in the ceiling and it was um, above a nice wooden grill and um, it was a walk-in wine cooler it wasn't a regular wine cooler it was just a walk-in wine cooler with a door um, they didn't want it anymore they wanted to just go with a simpler wine cooler that you could get off Amazon like something like this where you just open the door and put the wine in so they asked us to tear out the system um, now uh, HVAC guy came and uh, pumped down the system and recovered the gas and we just cut it out So this is a R22 system. It's water cooled. The water jacket is right here And this is going to be a great little project for me because everything is simple. You have king valve here here Sight glass suction dryer pressure controls water regulator. Here's the pressure controls. It's Johnson pressure controls You know we're, we'll do a more in-depth video I'm not sure about the BTUs of this unit. Uh, there are some things I will be cutting out because they're not needed. For one, this solenoid I'll be cutting out. It's just not needed because the way they have this unit set up, it was uh, working off of um, refrigerant pressures to turn off and on. And I won't have it set up like that. I'll have it set up off of a thermostat with a contactor. So this I'm going to eliminate. I'm going to redo the controls on that system. Um, this might be the table I will use. I would put this compressor at the bottom, and I would probably put that evaporator on top somehow. Or I was thinking I would have that stood up as it is, only with, of course, the drain on the bottom, and right behind it I would put the compressor section and just braze in the lines. It's pretty much plug and play, just have to braze in the discharge and suction lines. Um, there's a few things, again, get rid of, redo the controls, and um, charge it back up. Um, I would just have to borrow some stuff off of my friend who works in HVAC. I would need a vacuum pump, nitrogen, and a little bit of gas, and um, maybe a scale so I charge this thing properly because it's a small system. I want to guess this is uh, between 2,500 and 3,500 BTUs. So it could either be 2,800 BTU, 3,000 BTU, somewhere around there. It could be 4,000 BTU, but I doubt I doubt it's 4,000 BTU. It's still a small system. So, 
the next video I'm going to throw in is going to be of uh, oh no excuse me you'll see that video before this video I'm kind of going along as I'm making this but yeah guys so uh, look for further updates on this um, it's not going to be for a while I got to get some parts I got to get some stuff I got to figure this one out but right now this is my little project so yeah thanks for watching Mike out